Anthony Rizzo had the game winning RBI last night. That is his 16th to lead the National League. And Dries did go back to the minors to make a start just to stretch him out a little bit. But as you said earlier, probably won't get much past 60 pitches tonight, tops. Well, they've got 12 guys out in their bullpen ready to lend support. So Tori Lavello has got a lot of options. They have lost 13 of their last 17. And when that stretch began at the end of August, <laughs> nice play by Contreras. The Diamondbacks were in first place and up by a game and a half. They're now five games out. This has just been a devastating string of yeah, losses. It's been a team wide collapse to uh, all phases uh, to the starting pitching. Probably the least culpable, but the, the bullpen has been horrific, and the uh, lineup has failed to produce. They're hitting 211 as a team during this stretch, the bullpen with a 7.42 earned run average. So letting leads get away late that can be very demoralizing in the clubhouse. You see the earned run average by month, good early, not so good late. A man on one out top of the first inning. Statcast AI is powered by AWS. As Ahmed the shortstop has joined Marte and Goldschmidt on the right side. Short lead by Murphy. And Rizzo pops one down the left field line. And it will drop foul with the shift on, as we showed you. They didn't have a lot of options. Escobar had a long way to run. So did Peralta. Neither guy got there. Yeah, and it would be understandable if the Diamondbacks were to uh, shift back the other way with two strikes. Anthony more likely to hit the ball. To the opposite field, not so much on the ground, so that's why they keep the pull shift on. But for balls like that, two strike, weak contact, little flare the other way. Escobar is cheating more to the line. Another 0 2 look out. That ball was smoked near the Cubs dugout. On Cabrera. <laughs> Wilson's not jumping out the field that one. Dumbo. <laughs> Another 0 2 knocked down neatly by Mathis to keep Murphy at first. Yeah, Mathis is good back there. Doesn't do much with the bat, but he's a very good defensive backstop. Chances are you bounce one, he'll block it. <laughs> Another check on Murphy. Not really a threat to run. Not setting a blistering pace here, are we, at nope. the top half of the first? A throw into right, and Murphy will head the second, and he's going to try for third, and he'll get there. 
That could be a huge error by Jeff Mathis. Told you he was very good defensively, but got a little giddy there. Tried to pick off throw, air mailed it, and uh, you can see Rizzo quickly starting to salivate as Murphy made his way all the way to third base here. Big RBI opportunity now for Rays. Mathis with the snap throw from the knees, air mails Goldschmidt. The defense has not been very good here of late. They will bring their infield in. A 2 2 count on Rizzo. Bounce foul. Our Lexus run predictor brought to you by your Chicago area, a Northwest Indiana Lexus dealer. Comes with about a two and three chance to score here in this first inning. Went way up on that throwing error. Pitch number 10 is fought off foul. It's going to be very uh, demoralizing for a pitcher. You're out there just trying to settle in first inning of a ball game, and it's not been easy at all. This is one heck of a battle Rizzo's putting up here. He went into you know, two strike mode, choking up. He's fouled off some tough curveballs. He's fouled off elevated fastball in on the hands. And now Andres and Mathis thinking, where do we go? Yeah, power bat who can be pretty pesky with two strikes. He yeah, he's up on the bat. He's a 6'4, 230 pound scrappy guy right now. There's a chance to strike out fewer than 100 times for the second consecutive season. Pretty good for a guy with his home run power. <laughs> Mathis is going to go out and have a chat with Andres. No, no, he's not. No, he's going to. Go out there and commiserate with him and say, "What do you got? You want to try something different? You want to invent a knuckleball here? Uh, drop down sidearm." Matt facing the Cubs for the first time. Infield in. Murphy at third. Pitch number 13. And he fouled it off his foot. Yeah, I, I think, you know, if they're going to try to strike him out, the, the buried curveball down and in, try that one again, perhaps. Uh, but anywhere else, I think he's going to be able to put the ball in play eventually here. How long was the Brandon Belt at bat earlier this year? 21 or 22. I'll find he's, it. He's filling up the bingo card. Oh my goodness. Uh, it was 21 pitches back on uh, April 22nd for Brandon Belt. He just went higher than high and Anthony. We'll get a piece of that one just right in on his thumbs. The body language of the Diamondback players kind of shifting their weight back and forth, head down. <laughs> Can we get some resolution, please? Well, the average number of pitches per inning in the major leagues is usually around 16. This will be the 15th pitch of this plate appearance. Fifteen pitches in, it's three and two. Baez on deck. I feel like a sacrifice flies how this should end. 
Both these combatants should get a little bit of something for this. A way foul into the upper deck. Not expecting to get a souvenir in that area. So Ricky Gutierrez and Bartolo Colon go at it years ago. I think they went 24, 25 pitches. It's back when uh, Big Sexy uh, wasn't quite as big. And his fastball was about 98 miles per hour. It was uh, Alex Cora and Matt Clement had an epic battle in L.A. Number 17 lined and caught by the shortstop Ahmed. What a battle! Yeah, uh, boy, that was that was most impressive. He ends up hitting a rocket, but it turns into an out. I guess, in a sense, Andres wins the battle, but Rizzo had a heck of a plate appearance, ends up scalding the ball, and he took a big bite out of Andres making him throw all those pitches. It was over 10 minutes and 17 pitches.